Hi, today we're going to talk about uh, letter sizes and writing on the line and writing neatness. Um, something many of us could work on. Um, so first, we're going to talk about the spacing and the size of letters. So I drew just some lines um, and we're going to talk about this. So there, when we write, there's for, especially, well, for pretty much everybody, if we're writing on line paper, there's a top line. Sometimes there's a middle line and there's a bottom line. So those are the words we use when we're teaching kids to write. As we talk about starting from the top and going down, most every letter starts on the top and goes down um, or it starts in the middle, but it always, it does, none of our letters start from the bottom and go up. So we always wanna try and help little writers to remember to start from the top and go down. So I color coded my boxes because there are three sizes of letters. There's size one, which is our tall letters that sit on the line. Size two, which is our short letters that fit between the dotted line and the bottom line. And size three, which starts at the dotted line and but goes below the line. So I drew a couple examples of these. So we'll start with the word girl, not because girls are better, because I also drew boy. Um, but I started at the dotted line and I made sure that my belly of my G sits on that bottom line and goes down below. These are a lot of words, aren't they, to describe how to write all these things. So sometimes I find it easier instead of using so many words when helping kids write to maybe use like a marker. And I chose green on the bottom thinking, it's grass, right? Our letters are all gonna sit on the grass. Um, and then I drew a top, I highlighted my top line blue because the sky is in the blue, is blue, typically. Sometimes it's gray. So if it's something that your child is working on, um, these might be tips to help their letters be neater. Um, we use a couple different programs in the schools to help kids write better. One um, that we use when they're younger is called Handwriting Without Tears, and there's a lot of resources that will be sent home or already have been sent home with your child to practice, and they do a really good job of instructing exactly how to form letters. If they need extra practice, that's a really good resource. There are some things online as well, but you should have gotten things sent home if you're in kindergarten, um, first grade, or um, eventually in preschool, I believe they also send these things home. So um, just goes over how to form letters, but remembering just kind of the basics as we always start near the top and then we work our way down. If kids are writing from the bottom up, it seems like they have more reversals. It's harder to be consistent. Um, if they're already writing a lot and they're writing from the bottom, I probably wouldn't change it at this point. Um, but if you're just starting out and you're just practicing, the best tips I can suggest is maybe highlighting the bottom line green so you don't have to use so many words to describe trying to make those letters touch that line. Um, pointing out you might even wanna highlight the middle line that maybe you're starting at that middle line and maybe you wanna make it yellow or a different color um, to try and get the letters. So when you're trying to get neatness, you really wanna focus on those touching those lines. Um, it just makes the letters so much neater and if they can keep their letters between the lines. So for younger kids, we start off with big spaces and we let them really focus on touching the top line and the bottom line for those tall letters or starting at the dotted line to the bottom line. And just trying to really focus in on those lines as being keys of getting our letters neater. Um, and if they kind of know how to make the letters, just using those references to the lines really seems to improve the legibility. So those are my tips for writing today. I hope you have an awesome day.